All right, guys, um, this is another project I have for you guys here today, and both of us going to do this. But this is just an idea. This is uh, something I have these modules. They were sitting there. I have been using them on my portable solar system. You guys can go back into that folder on my playlist and look at it. You guys will see I've done a lot of tests on these modules. I did a lot of demonstration um, towards the different projects. But today, as you guys seen yesterday, I was showing you guys uh, with the satellite pole mounting, old uh, direct TV. So I'm going to improvise. I'm going to uh, um, use this uh, bracket so that I can able to utilize it instead of a waste and put it to work and try to use this and put it on a pole mount, which is just uh, Renogy. These are 250 watt solar panels right here. So let me give you the specs and take a look at it. So since I end up a um, few days ago, I made a video regarding um, these aluminum uh, racks I have. So these are the specs right here from Renogy. Um, they are very good panels. You know, Renogy makes all their product now here in the United States from Chino, California. That's the contact right there if you're looking for any Thing. Though Renogy is not that cheap like it used to be back in the day, but anyway, they already improved so much on the technology on solar panels and uh, charge controllers and um, inverters, a uh, lot of stuff. But anyway, this is how I was trying to structure this entire thing, you know, and I just want to show you how everything is going to be working. I use the aluminum and uh, see them right here. Well, you guys can see these are all the brackets here and uh, we decided to go about this and uh, right here I'm gonna show you guys the the mount this is a satellite mount uh, I was able to recycle yesterday like I said on the video if you haven't seen the video I'll put that on the uh, on the link on the description below or you can see them on the um, the teasers up there so um, this is a frame the bracket and uh, this is how we're gonna be using and uh, to mount the panels these are the aluminum frames the brackets uh, I got the last time checked out on the video I would add it to on my video on my playlist and uh, at the end of the video if you watch the video you have the opportunity now to see it so I'll put that on the end screen you're able to see those videos as I speak so let me show you this is the plan I have these are just 250 watts which uh, so maybe someone would say this is nonsense or you're wasting your time why you want to take all your time or waste materials with that but this is what I want to do okay um, not much I have to do with these panels, but uh, they are here, maybe for testing, and I just want to utilize them to the best of my ability so they can put them to uh, use. So this is what I, I came up with here. Um, as you guys see, set the camera right for you guys can be able to see. <clears throat> uh, so now we have a perfect angle and um, this is what I did. So I put on this uh, entire stuff, you guys can see, just a temporary design and just to show you guys the way I want to fabricate things here. And as um, this is the plan right here. So I'm going to be using these rails and I want to take this guy here and drop it right in the middle okay doing so um i can able to so um this is the brackets i told you guys yesterday on the recycle the satellite and uh trying to sit it right here get it this way make sure this one is perpendicular to the frame right here so that make sure it's right in the center and I can have a better balancing instead of uh, being so um, uh, whatever, um, not being how it should be. The balance is supposed to balance right. The weight's gonna be equal. 
but been saying that um i have another idea so i'm just gonna drill the holes and put it right to where it should be uh drill the holes here put the bolts and nuts and uh make sure um this one is gonna be drilled with the holes right there and so it can get a full support of that panel these two panels so this rail right here is going to be right in the middle to balance the weight. And likewise here, I'm going to be putting one here. But because these rails are kind of a little bit longer, so they are longer. So I, I want to trim this one. So when I trim them from here, so it's going to be a size like this. So I can able to fit this other side here, just like this one, the way this one laid out. So I'm going to be, if I trim this one, it's going to sit right, right there. Okay, so I have the panel all balanced and locked in, which is going to be the, 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 the balance going to be, everything's going to be equilibrium, you know, equal and properly balanced. And um, by that, I can able to get everything squared out. So this 250 watts going to be a 100 watt module for just a... Um, portable thing or maybe I can use for tinkering or I can able to set it up for a fence line or for gates you know like to open your gates your garage door or no garage door like uh, people with the gates and uh, maybe security lights so I, I can able to embed probably a lithium battery here maybe the 10 amp which is about 12 volts and I don't have to do any conversion all the lights gonna go on DC mode it's a different thing, so I'm looking at different spectrum here, but um, this is what I want to do. Um, I have to trim this one right here, but uh, I'm not sure yet because I don't want to waste the uh, materials. And uh, trimming this end, I want to do things once and for all because this stuff are really expensive. So I'm so lucky to be... Uh, having stuff like this so if that be the case I think I don't know if I'm gonna do something like this again you know so I can brace that when I have a full support so the entire bracket I'm gonna build I'm cutting it from here and there and this rails right here is gonna sit inside here just like this one's right here and I, I already created something like an an eye if you look at it in a form it's like letter I you see straight like an eye so this one fits right there uh, if you flip it over you can see like an H so doing so is gonna keep the panels balanced so this is the way I want to do it but I was af I'm afraid I might probably end up having four instead of two panels at least it can uh, end up being like 200 watts of uh, solar so um, I'm just looking I don't know I might probably do that and the way they are right now they're vertical so I'm trying to put another one up here they might probably end up being all the way up here so you see so it can be a little bit taller but this is the way I want to keep it at the moment but I'm afraid to destroy these aluminums they are not cheap but if I have to create that kind of letter H um, version I can able if I have two of this all the way top up there at the top here okay it's gonna be up here there's gonna be probably another panel here another panel over there then this letter H is gonna be sitting in the center instead of sitting right by the frame here it's gonna be sitting at the center so this is just a, a support of a letter I or letter H in the other form and able to carry uh, the weight of the, the 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 four modules here. So this is the plan, folks. Uh, uh, what do you think? Um, let me know. Um, um, you guys can we can get from there. But I don't want to start slicing or cutting anything yet. And you guys can see here. I have all the tweak tweaking stuff I have the angles and elevations I got a skew and all the good stuff about this and this one is really tough strong it can handle that that's why I want to use the aluminum instead of using 
um, a unistrut. A unistrut like this one I used for the other uh, built yesterday because it's going to add more weight. These ones are lighter and this is kind of like pretty much approximately a pound and a half or maybe uh, two pounds and um, add it up and I have to calculate for wind wind loads and snow because of um, uh, if you have to be on the snow but I'm trying to build do this project uh, I want to send for a friend somewhere surprising but let's see how everything goes um, when I said this way this is the way I'm gonna set it and um, this guy I'm gonna recap again this guy's gonna sit right there in the center and tell me what you think and uh, from there we're gonna set up the entire stuff so let me take you uh, for a quick ride here and see exactly what I did yesterday and right here is still sitting <coughs> excuse me well this is the uh, recap of the other one I built yesterday mounting it with a unistrut, a unistrut. check that video out I'll put it on the uh, end screen all right Let's take a look and see the front. These are uh, 80 watt, so two of them, 80 watt each. All right. So these ones here, they are just 50 watts each. So it's 100 watt. Right there is uh, 160. All right. This is the end product of the other one yesterday. Uh, check that video out and uh, give it a like and share from the. Here is uh, JW Solar. <clears throat> Thanks for watching. Bye for now.